सर्टन सम ऑफ मनी इन्वेस्टेड इन ए सिक्योरिटी एट आर परसेंट पर एन एम क्वाड्रुपल्स मीन्स बिकम्स फोर टाइम्स इट्स फोर टाइम्स ऑफ इट्स सेल्फ इन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स फाइंड आर परसेंट इफ इंटरेस्ट इफ इंटरेस्ट इज कंपाउंडेड कंटिन्यूसली एट वॉट एनुअल रेट आर परसेंट विल एन अमाउंट बी थ्री टाइम्स इन थर्टीन ईयर्स A sum of money becomes five times of itself in 18 years at a certain rate of interest. Find the R percent. So these are the uh, sample problems uh, where we have been asked to find out the R percent. And uh, what is the problem? The problem is saying uh, that uh, there is a certain sum. The means the principal. Uh, the amount of principal hasn't been told. uh and it is uh, being said that a certain sum uh, becomes four times of itself uh, itself in 20 years at a certain rate of interest so uh, actually uh, uh what has been asked that we have to find out the r percent the rate at which a certain sum means the principal would become four times of itself in the next problem the sum again the principal hasn't been the amount of principal hasn't been told and it would become three times of itself in 13 years find the rate again here <coughs> you see uh, the amount of principal hasn't been told but uh, it is being said that a certain sum means the p would become five times of itself in 18 year 18 years uh, find out the Uh, rate percent so again we have been uh, asked uh, asked to find out the rate percent so uh, what is the uh, method to find out the rate percent in each case doesn't matter it is four times three times five times five times or two times Ir, uh, the method used to find out the r percent in each case is the same so you see here Uh, for example i have taken this uh, numerical problem what annual rate of interest compound when compounded annually doubles an investment means the principal uh, in 8 years find r percent find r percent so this is the problem now what are the values which have been given which have already been given here the p and again the p would be double of itself means the amount would be 2p so we have assumed these values if if uh, if here an investment investment means p if we assume p to be x then we would uh, uh, take the amount uh, 2p because it it has to double itself now what is the formula for calculating uh, uh that we generally use in compound interest this one so what we have been asked to find out r percent this thing if uh, for example uh, we had been asked to find out the rate uh in different uh, perspective we might be using this formula so we would not use this formula because uh, uh, here uh, we can't put the value of uh, uh, amount so we better use this uh, general formula in order to uh, find out the rate percent so now put the values uh, p here and uh, in the place of a we we would write 2p and now the p becomes the denominator here we cut p by p and what is left only 2 now the 8 now the power 8 comes here uh, means 1 uh, upon n so it becomes 1 upon 8 2 raised to the power 1 upon 8 so now if we solve this this portion we can find the r percent so there are two two method to find out the rate percent here for example we may use the simple method uh, uh we open the calculator here 
सो वॉट इज द पावर हेयर वन अपॉन एट सो वन अपॉन एट वी फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ वन अपॉन एट वी सॉल्व इट वन डिवाइडेड बाई एट एंड दिस इज दी वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट वन टू फाइव सो दिस इज द पावर वी मे राइट टू रेस टू द पावर जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव दिस गिवस वन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन जीरो फाइव सो दिस इज द वैल्यू इफ यू पुट दिस वैल्यू हेयर एंड इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस आर वेन वन कम्स हेयर एंड वी सब्ट्रैक्ट वन फ्रॉम दिस वैल्यू इट बिकम पॉइंट जीरो नाइन जीरो फाइव एंड वेन यू वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई हंड्रेड वी मेक इट वी चेंज दिस डेसिमल इन टू परसेंट इट बिकम्स नाइन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट दिस मीन्स दिस सम वुड डबल इट सेल्फ इन एट ए रेट ऑफ एट ए कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ नाइन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट सो लेट्स चेक इट लेट्स चेक इट नाउ आई यूज दिस फॉर्मूला फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज नाइन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव सो नाइन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट परसेंट सो वट इज द वैल्यू दिस इज एंड नाउ वी एड प्लस वन एंड वी गेट दिस सो वी हैव सॉल्व दिस पोर्शन वन प्लस आर नाउ रेस टू द पावर एट रेस टू द पावर एट नाउ वी गेट दिस वैल्यू सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी एज्यूम दैट पी इज हंड्रेड P is hundred, then it should double itself at this rate. So exactly, it has doubled uh, because one ninety nine point nine eight eight. So this is just approximately two hundred. This means this rate of interest is the uh, correct uh, interest rate because at this interest rate. the amount any amount we have assumed p uh, and in this here we have assumed we have taken 100 any amount would be just double of it now another approach uh, that we may use this was very simple approach that we have done so another approach that uh, we may take logarithm in order to find the value of r so let y be 2 raise to the power 1 upon net what is the rule in logarithm if uh, log uh, log uh, is uh, x raise to the power n so how it is written n log x the power comes before log so what we do here that we take this power before log and we put log 2 so now we have to calculate this portion log 2 how we write here we write here uh, we write uh, uh, sorry uh, we write 2 uh, and then we take log of it so this is uh, 0.3010 this is what i have written so the value of log 2 is this one now we have to we have to uh, divide it by 8 you here you see divide by 8 and when we divide it by 8 what we get 0.0376 so this is the value now we have to take anti log in order to change it into the number so how to take a anti log press this button whenever we take anti log we take the we take uh, that number uh, as the power of 10 so we simply press this button here 10 and this is the value we have found 1.0905 the same value we had found when we uh, use different method so now we write this uh, 1.0905 here and uh, we take this uh, we subtract this one from this uh, uh, value and we find this and we then multiply this uh, value by 100 and we take the value of r that is 9.05% we have checked it that the amount really became uh, double of it so uh, friends uh, one thing again doesn't matter it is 2 times 3 times 4 times 
you have to only write here two three four five any any number of times three four five six seven eight as in the uh, problems uh, written here uh, four times three times five times so what we do uh, according to the uh, question or the number of times we change only this value if it is five times we write five so everywhere we, we would change five five times five times everywhere we would be cha changing this amount only and no change uh, is required other than the uh, the amount in the value of amount we have to change five times four times doesn't matter the method is the same and you would get the value of r percent okay so i think it is uh, made uh, very much clear so thank you